Uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to uh, Rethink Career Hub uh, program. So today we are conducting Hall of Fame with Mr. Binod Gupta. Uh, he is part of my program for uh, Certification in Data Science Foundation program, and he has already undergone three months program. So we'll just have a quick introduction, and then we'll go through how did he find the program and overall his journey uh, to this program. So uh, Vinod, uh, just a quick question that uh, if you could take a minute and introduce yourself, and your background that would be helpful thank you yeah sure manoj so hi this is binod gupta and i have 20 years of experience into networking and ip telephony uh, uh, telephony communication domain and uh, i have uh, been into uh, network architecture and have been doing a lot of projects uh, at the enterprise level i've done a lot of migrations and all and uh, been also working in the domain of uh, cloud architecture so uh, working for that duration, I I wanted to make a change and understand uh, into uh, this new domain, which is like data science. And I was hunting around it. I enrolled for a few courses. And then finally, uh, I could get a space somewhere wherein I, I could pave my path for this data science foundation. Oh, OK. Uh, right. So uh, again, you are coming from network background, right? And network mm -hmm. architecture and all. So what brings you into data science? What has uh, prompted you to um, move and do the career transition into data science? Yeah, that's a very good question. Thanks for asking this. So uh, many times what happens is when you're doing a designing a network, let's say I am more into IVR and contact center solutions. So especially when we are designing an IVR, uh, for an example, uh, so many decisions are there which are based upon the requirement of the business. So if you understand the business, if you take a data-driven decision, then you can uh, design your IVR. Like my job is to design an IVR, but how many ports to define, how many channels to give at every level, what should be the bandwidth given, how what options should have more diverse or inclination of the traffic, when we should transfer a, a IVR call to the human resource, so how many channels we should secure there? All these kind of decisions, which helps me design my network efficiently or solution efficiently. It also needs a data somewhere. Wonderful. So okay. whenever I need such kind of data and it has to be based upon some data-driven decision, then only I can say that, okay, my solution is efficient. Designing a solution or designing contact center is not just a piece. It is just right. a kind of mechanical part. But adding an intelligence, a justification that it satisfies the business is what I try to do, and I think mm. I uh, understand or I can map it very clearly. When we have a data, uh, you know, this kind of knowledge of data science, then I am able to bring that life into it. Otherwise, still okay. the time it is a machine. Perfect, absolutely, very nicely articulated, and. Uh... Okay, so uh, as I understand uh, from the background and you had mentioned earlier that you are already joined a data science program from one of the premium institutes and later you decided to uh, switch to Rethink Career Hub in my data science program. So yes. what prompted you to uh, get into my program? Uh, otherwise, like you are already there in a very premium institute. Yeah, yeah. the name tag flagship was very big one, which I initially joined. But again, what I... Uh, when I spent almost like two months over there, then I realized that we are not going on a hands-on. We are not making our hands dirty. Well, uh, and it, learning, I believe, comes by learning by doing. And that part was missing. out. We were uh, reinventing the formula. So that doesn't help much. Uh, while uh, it was, if I'll say, though it was programmed for six months course, but if I would have gone to them, it, even in two years, I'd not get that hands-on uh, expertise and all. So now after I joined your course, I think within this uh, three months of time, I have not only gone through the theory part of it, rather I have been able to start writing codes. I have been able to do uh, bring out a kind of a live example, do that project, and then feel like, yes, I'm doing a, like a real-time project. So that gives me a confidence that I'm working at the edge level of it. Not like I'm reading just book or formula and then trying to understand what are the parameters. So parameters and all will come very fast uh, because we all are working profession. We understand what is the business, how to work on it. But you cannot have ample amount or plenty of time to just to understand a formula and then uh, understand a theorem. Thing is to work and then start implementing and start meeting the business requirement. Uh, so 
speed and accuracy is what is required and that i am able to see from you wonderful thanks a lot uh, vinod yeah. and if you have to describe this thing like say in one sentence and all how was the program what would you say uh i must say that it was very informative and very much exhaustive for me as well because to catch up uh, uh, what you teach in your session is not only that we get a hands on to it but also to digest we need some good amount of effort or uh, to be put forward and uh, definitely you're trying to break all the ice that is i'm very much thankful to you like many times we when we do something when we learn something and when we try to implement into the real time scenario there we fear, uh, face a lot of hiccups so we uh, or in a simple word i can say we shy out so when you give this kind of exposure like a real time experience or real life job or a project which is like very much similar and uh, not a spoon feeding kind of thing then we realize that okay it is not an easy job you have to put some good effort and this is what i like things cannot be so easy that you can you just copy and write it should be Absolutely. something like you should be able to apply your brain and then put forward make use of what you learned here absolutely thanks a lot for articulating this thing so well and bringing it out uh one last question uh vinod uh like again like you there are many uh working professional mid career working professional they are stuck they do not have the right guidance and all they are looking for their options to switch into data science career but they are completely stuck and again in internet era there are a lot of information free wage uh, low cost uh, program everything is available here so what would be your recommendation and suggestion to them those who are serious but again they are completely uh, blanked out uh, because of uh, not having the right guidance and mentorship uh, i think you answered your question already because what happens is internet is is an ocean it is full of all the information you search for a keyword you get it you search for a keyword you land on to a page wherein it is chapter by chapter everything is given but again what happens is let's see you get a pdf or youtube link or any other course material or sometimes it lead towards a new course now what happens is if you try to do that you can definitely do it but again without mentorship what happens is you start something you go in a flow and that sometimes becomes monotonous and you never realize that okay while reading all this uh, at a theoretical level i mean though you are de- doing that project which is given there but uh if you have a person like a mentor like you then what happens is you start correlating it to the real life example uh, and what i have best found you is you as a mentor uh, especially into data science while i'm talking to you you already have a lot of experience you have done a lot of projects uh, and uh, you already have you understand what is the timeline what is the pressure what is the complexity so all those aspects you understand and then that you try to feed into the project which you give to us that you try to impart that knowledge in that uh, in our training session so that mentorship or step by step guidance that is missing out in the that ocean of knowledge pools so that's why i would recommend that best thing is to find out a good mentor and the one who is really genuine and the one who has got real himself has got some good exposure he had he had understood what is the business challenges around it like sometimes complexity sometimes pricing sometimes security and all that so since you have worked over it you are the best judge for it and that's what i am finding it over here uh, you know we can gain it from you through the books we read it as a book okay chapter 1 chapter 2 it goes step by step mm-hmm. and uh, second thing i not the list which i would like to mention is uh when i pick up a book when i go through it uh most of them like self paced so when you go through self paced uh reading books uh, it it gets elongated uh give me just one so it gets elongated and then uh, we take our own time to complete that but we are covering some 30 40% of aspect maybe right but when we go through you uh you're not only giving guidance and all only on this theoretical part you are giving projects which covers of experience part you are also trying to mentor us in terms of making us capable how to hunt for a job what kind of pe- quality they are looking out for people uh, who is aspiring for data science let's say so that is something which is you know uh, that is an extra thing or plus factor which you are giving with your course so that Thank i you. don't think will anybody will provide 
Thank you. Thank you for a wonderful explanation. And in just one sentence, if you have to recommend it or suggest uh, to the audience, what would be your recommendation? Uh, my suggestion would be to go with you because you, you, uh, the way you have planned your course is like a step-by-step -step approach. So go enter it, go for a listen to you first of all, at least in your, uh, your introduction session, go for at least three months foundation. If you are able to digest it, if you are able to go with a match with the pace, if you are satisfied with yourself, then they should enroll with the next level of course with you. So that way you are secured in terms of your money as well as your time. And then you also get ample amount of time. Let's say, for an example, if a person has taken a course as a foundation and he is not able to cope up in that period of time, he needs a, a, a rebrush up of that. So maybe he may not join your next batch immediately, but after the second batch, which may start up with some month of lag, lag of a month or something, then he can probably give and uh, try into another batch. So that way, step by step approach is what is like securing money. Otherwise, if you go out any in any other institute, they make sure that you pay the entire amount mm -hmm. at the time of registration itself, and mm -hmm. then after that, you don't have any option to come out. So they're completely stuck there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you for wonderful uh, 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 information on this and then uh, very insightful details uh, below the, onto this. And uh, thanks again, audience, uh, for this. Uh, we again continue our Hall of Fame uh, discussion with uh, our other students as well. And hope this was intuitive, this was informative, and you would be able to take educated uh, decision uh, for your career transition into data science. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you, Manaji, and wish you all the best. Thank you very much.